What's going on everyone, TJ Fitness D News Reviews and together with me, the all new innovation from my protein, the Coffee Boost. Coffee Boost people, I'm gonna take you through the level of this thing, it has two ingredients, but very interesting ingredients, then I'm gonna share with you my personal experience, what do I think about this one, how I've been using it, and then towards the end of the video I'm gonna give you my final verdict, who is this one for, should you care, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so my protein obviously they don't need no introduction on the Fitness Deal News review channel because also on our website fitnessdealnews.com where we hunt the best deals from all over the web on everything. Fitness, my protein is a superstar on that site because, because they have great value for money products. Just very wide variety of products from protein obviously all the way to BCAAs, pre-workouts, whatever. Very good value for money and there's deals and we hunt them down and you can find them on www.fitnessdealers.com. Anyway, I'm sure that you guys are subscribed to our Deal Alerts newsletter. My protein. My protein. So anyway, so they've been, uh, they've been really on a tear recently. They've come up with a lot of new products. New innovation, really. New innovation. I reviewed here their clear vegan protein and their clear vig uh, isolate protein. Really cool products. Really like them. Again, great value for money. Really innovation. I'm going to link to these reviews below. Generally speaking, I'm going to link to all the my protein reviews below. <sighs> So they came out with this product, the Coffee Boost, just out of nowhere. I suddenly saw it on the My Protein site, bought myself a couple, and here you go. So this Coffee Boost thing is an instant coffee powder, okay? So it's basically coffee. It's coffee. It's instant coffee powder, which once served as 150 milligrams of caffeine, so it's a coffee and a half. So think about this as one and a half cups of coffee, but 75 milligrams of dynamine. So dynamine is this um, pre-workout ingredient that came into the supplement world about, about two years ago. And a lot of people like dynamine. They actually supplement with dynamine on top of some pre-workouts. It helps with mental focus. It's sort of a soft stimulant that the synergy with caffeine is just great it prolongs the effect of caffeine it gives you that little buzz and a bit of mood elevation anyway it's you see that in pre-workouts a lot of the times in pre-workouts they don't want to put like dm anything in them so why didn't i think about this idea of actually to have a coffee powder just coffee stronger plus dynamite shit man that's actually, so this is like sort of a nootropic coffee type thing. So 150 minutes, so like it's, think about it like this. Um, a scoop and a half of this thing, which is one serve, which has 30 serves of this thing. And if you take two scoops, which I'm going to tell you in a second, that's what I've been taking. It's about 200 milligrams of caffeine and about 100 milligrams of dynamite. Guys, that's like bang, or sorry, monster, let's say, plus dynamite. Why didn't I think about it? Okay, anyway, so that's what this thing is. It's sort of a nootropic. It's a, it's a strong caffeine plus nootropic. It's a coffee for steam junkies. That's what it is. A coffee for steam junkies. Anyway, so they came out. I think they have only one flavor because that's the one I got. I got two of them, but I actually got both of them are mocha flavor. Some of you guys like instant coffee. Some of you guys don't like instant coffee. The, the flavor of instant coffee is not as blunt as caffeine as coffee, sorry, as regular brewed coffee. So they, they went with instant coffee. I'm assuming it's just that from a formulation perspective, it was much easier. So the way that you take this thing, you basically pour it into water and you, you shake and you, uh, you, know, you stir it and you drink. So as far as the flavor and the effect, I'm actually gonna start with the effect and then I'm gonna, then again, I'm gonna talk about the flavor and how it feels. So as far as the effect, with a scoop and a half, which is the one serve, you get the kick of a caffeine, you just get a, a kick of a cup of coffee, stronger, a, a, actually you get a kick of an energy drink, plus focus, it's actually a very good experience. My perfect balance being on two scoops, two full scoops, which gets this to 22 servings, or 23 servings, I guess, and um, 24 servings probably, and 200 milligrams of caffeine and 100 milligrams of dynamite, perfect. It gets you that buzz, Focus really acts as a nootropic. You know, it takes a bit of time to kick in. It's not like a pre-workout. It takes maybe half an hour to feel the full effect. But then you feel like you just drank a bang energy drink plus some focus, which you don't get with bang. You just get a lot of, you get the energy kick. Very smooth, no crash, 
really, really like the effect. This is freaking brilliant. This is brilliant. For me personally, two scoops. Now, as far as the actual taste, now if you like the taste of coffee, you're and you don't like instant coffee, you never tried instant coffee, you're not necessarily gonna like this. So there's two ways that, and I honestly like as a, as a pure coffee, usually you add milk to instant coffee also, but as pure coffee, like just adding this to hot water, it's not, it's not a great taste for if you like coffee, brewed coffee. The way I really liked it and the way that it's actually, it, I really like, liked it, is two ways. One, add a scoop of this thing to your regular coffee or a scoop and a half. And then if you have a regular cup of coffee with 100 milligrams of caffeine, then you add this, you get 250 milligrams of caffeine with a scoop and a half plus the dynamite, you get a bang plus dynamite. That's one, and then you get the flavor, a bit of a mocha flavor, you won't even actually feel the flavor, but you get it in combination with your coffee that you like anyway. So you go to Starbucks, you buy a coffee, you pull a scoop and a half, pour it into that, and again, you get a Starbucks seem junky version. The way that I've been drinking this more than anything else, and it's been working perfectly, is cold coffee. So I put a small amount of hot water, I put a, uh, two scoops into it, add some sugar, like use stevia, add some stevia, shake, stir it so it mixes, and then I add ice and water, right? So like a cold brew coffee. Shake it really hard in a shaker, really like the flavor. The mocha flavor is not very apparent. You're just gonna drink cold coffee. That's the way it feels like. Cold coffee. And if you like iced coffee, this is what it, feel like. it feels like, and then you're gonna get the buzz and the focus and all that stuff, the nootropic coffee experience. Listen, people, my protein, totally delivered on the concept and the implementation. Really like it. Now, as far as where it goes for the 30 servings, theoretically, I think on the site are like $25 or maybe $20, $25, think $25. But listen, we're fitness venues. We hunt deals from all over the web. I've already seen this thing on 12, like two for 25, like a BOGO free or something around like the 12. Listen, when you, next time you see this shit on a deal, people get it and use it the way that I, if you if you don't like instant coffee use it like as a cold brew now we're, it's summer it's a perfect timing for that use it as a cold brew or just add it to your coffee perfect perfect experience really like what this brings to and and you know it's not too much caffeine it's, it's just perfect listen this is such a great idea now if you actually like the mocha flavors what i suggest you do this is uh I, i'm gonna do a separate review on these things on the my protein site you can find these things flav flav drops right it's flavor drops this is the mocha one and I've been adding this. So you add like seven drops of this thing, zero calories, and you add it to any drink. So basically any drink, any drink, like take water, add this to them, it's gonna taste like mocha. And they have like 20 different flavors. This shit really delivers. So if you wanna get, and, and they have like white chocolate, whatever. Also very cheap. I think the retail is $6, but you know, on a deal, $4 or stuff like that. Listen, perfect. And you can add this to your coffee if you wanna get flavor. <gasps> I actually took this a couple of hours ago. This is what happens. <laughs> Listen, people. I'm going to link below to the uh, latest coupons and deals from the MyProtein site. We don't sell anything. We just help you save money. If this review was helpful in your MyProtein, the Coffee Boost decision-making process, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this because this is what we do here. We help you make smart decisions about the supplements that you buy. <laughs>